As a part of the Paul's Black History Month celebration, the university hosted the Hamish Black History Exhibit. The exhibit illustrates the African-American experience in the United States from the time of slavery all the way through the election of Barack Obama. Courtney James, the Paul's Director of Student Involvement, says that when she saw a miniature version of the exhibit last fall, she knew it would be a great experience for DePaul students. And I really thought it would be a great opportunity for DePaul students to have that moment of reflection and learn uh, about Black history here at DePaul. Homage is a traveling exhibit that goes to different states throughout the year, displaying a collection which includes original historic documents, artwork, newspapers, letters, books, and more. And so what we try to do is have various documents, pictures, items, um, that highlight different part, parts of the African-American experience through each time stage. The collection includes slave transport collars, slave bills of sale, black entertainers, and legal papers documenting the horrors of the slave trade. McAdoo says both he and his wife have been collecting pieces since they were children, but began collecting as a family to create the exhibit 10 years ago. We may obtain things in the 60s and 70s, but we probably wouldn't have, uh, let's say, a authentic slave collar or some of the um, ownership artifacts when it comes to slavery or some of the ads for rewards of runaway slaves. Those things we, we had to concentrate on just to make sure that we have a complete collection of the entire experience of African Americans. The day-long event took place in the Student Center, where students and faculty were able to come during their free time to view and ask questions about the historic pieces. Behind me, there's a, a wall of reflection that students have talked about what they got out of the exhibit. So I think that, you know, one of the things that we talk a lot about at DePaul is it's not only about your experience inside the classroom, but it's also about what you learn about outside of the classroom. So I think this and learning about our past history and what the exhibit does in bringing it to today shows the importance in, of us knowing our history and black history and what that looks like. And I think it gives people an insight view as to um, what has happened within, I mean, centuries and decades, um, and to see, like, you know, how far we have come and how much more we have to go. McAdoo says no two exhibits are the same as they pick different pieces to show every time they travel. And though it wasn't intentional, a lot of their items are specific to Chicago's history, such as their original articles from the Chicago Defender, the Black Panther Movement, Reverend Jesse Jackson, and President Barack Obama. You can see the impact of Chicago all in our experience. So it's just so much enrichment here in Chicago that it's just great to be someplace where a lot of what we're bringing started here. The Center for Student Involvement says it will continue to host events like this to encourage students and staff to reflect on the role they play in society, to know your future you must know your past. For a good day to Paul, I'm Lenita Brooks.